In Pit Lane is proudly brought to you by DinoTech by Dino Dynamics. For your nearest workshop, visit our website. And with the support of the Ramada Resort, Phillip Island. It's the good news that we were all waiting for. Daniel Ricciardo will replace fellow Australian Mark Webber at Red Bull Racing. It's a huge break for the young Western Australian, and he's clearly delighted about the opportunity. Uh, I feel uh, very, very good. Obviously, it's a lot of excitement running through me right now. Um, so it's it's great news. You know, something I've worked uh, worked for, and um, to to hear the news I wanted is is great. So yeah, next next step in my career now. With plenty of international media speculation about the drive, the most sought-after seat in Formula One, Christian Horner says that Ricardo had one big advantage over more experienced drivers. Well, the thing that gave Daniel the edge over the other drivers was, you know, the potential, the potential of, of, of what he can be. I mean, we've seen in his junior career in Formula Three and Renault World Series that you know, he's capable of winning championships, he's capable of winning races. He's been a standout driver in each of the categories that he's competed in. And indeed, you know, we followed his progress with great interest with Toro Rosso and some of the testing that he's done for Infinity Red Bull Racing. Um, you know, he, he's got all the attributes that, that, that are required. And I think that, you know, yes, there's drivers that have obviously great achievements under their belts. But if you don't give somebody the chance, how are they going to get those, uh, you know, achievements? With Ricardo now driving alongside Sebastian Vettel, does this mean that there's now a clear number one driver at Red Bull Racing? Well, the decision to take a junior driver uh, means that uh, you know nothing changes as far as we're concerned. Both drivers will get the same opportunity in the same equipment. Inevitably, there'll be a natural pecking order, and that will be determined by the driver that's um, you know in front on track. Now, obviously, Sebastian has won a lot of races and, and is a multiple world champion, so. You know, with that comes, you know, expectation. Um, but the reality is that both drivers, as has always been the case, will get, you know, identical opportunity and equipment. Uh, you know, for me, I, I want to be put against the best and, you know, for, for my personal challenge as well and, and really see if, if I can mix it up with, with Seb and, and, you know, the top guys in the world. So definitely looking forward to that. Um, I know it's, uh, it's, it is going to be a challenge, but... Um, no better guy to have as my teammate. Apart from Ricardo himself, the happiest people about the announcement will be the Australian Grand Prix Corporation. But Daniel knows that next year's race at Albert Park will put him under some intense local media scrutiny. How I feel in Melbourne? Uh, very, <laughs> for sure excited. Um, but, you know, it's it's been, you know, the couple of times I've been there as, as a Formula One driver now, it's it's been pretty hectic. Uh, obviously lots of attention and uh, I don't think I've seen anything yet. <laughs> I think next year when I go there, it's going to be on uh, on another level. So, um, you know, I do what I have to do. Obviously, there's, there's going to be a few days leading up to the race where people are going to want to know how I feel and I'll probably get, you know, maybe a little bit tired of answering the same questions. But, um, you know, I've got to expect that now and this is the role I'm in. Um, I've just got to make sure that by Friday I'm, I'm ready to drive and, and all the media stuff is, is completely switched off. With the eyes of the Formula One world now clearly focused on Ricardo for 2014, what advice does team boss Christian Horner have for his young star? My advice for Daniel as he prepares for next season is just to take it one step at a time. And, uh, you know, he's going to have uh, a lot more spotlight on him than he's used to. Uh, there's going to be a lot more expectation uh, you know, about him. But he's got broad shoulders and I believe he can, you know, he can deal with that. Um, you know, the pressure of being in a... Uh, in the main Red Bull team is, is significantly more than being a Toro Rosso driver. Um, but, you know, he'll, he'll cope with that and I have every confidence that he will, um, you know, he'll, he'll come out on top and uh, I think, you know, 
it's going to be very exciting to see what he's capable of next year. More power, better fuel economy, a cleaner, more efficient engine. They're just a few of the advantages of having your car tuned on a Dynotech Dyno. To find your nearest Dynotech workshop, go to dyno.com.au. Dynotech by Dyno Dynamics.